it just sort of evolved from this idea that I had something to say about women who were young and kind of starting over, whether it was a widow or a divorce or just dating and trying to get your life together and trying to discover, like, meaning in your life. And I think that's what Claire in the book is really. Her journey is a journey of, like, self-discovery or to find meaning um, after her husband dies. And let me just say, it's a comedy. So her husband dies in a very funny, if you can say that, way. I kind of think it was like the comedic sequel to The Tragedy. That was my first book. When I started writing it 10 years after my husband died, I was in a much more whimsical state of mind, and I had found really the absurdity and humor in life and my experience in it, and I kind of gave that to Claire early on in the story. You understand me? If you're going to call me a liar, we're going to have a problem. Going into the season, I was very open to whatever experience it was going to be. I was a little wary of Aviva, and that was not an unpopular feeling among the group. Psychopath? Yes, you have no soul. Where were you? Don't touch me. I find that. Laughable. I get that the show is, you know, you need to make drama and stuff, but there's there's a certain point where I think everyone needs to respect everyone else, and sometimes those lines are crossed. Uh, oh! Listen, you know, I, I might have an aristocratic last name, but I am all Italian, so don't mess with my the things I really care about. She, you know, made up some silly lie and tried to pass it off as industry gossip, and and you know, I was hurt by it, really. And then I was, then I was angry. Just one thing, and this it would work out. <laughs> so you'll see me scream a little this season. Last season, I think I cried. This season, I scream. Um, but screaming is completely underrated. I really enjoyed it. What is your problem?